Hey, it's a slow night. Hey, nobody's even here. So we'll just grab a quick bite and you can go home tomorrow. I don't know. Come on, come on. You gotta eat something, right? Maureen's probably asleep anyway. Five minutes. All right, all right. Listen up a little bit. Okay. Hey. Uh-oh. What's up, cops? Hey. Hope you guys are off duty. <laughs> We're off duty. Yeah. After the third I believe I am. I believe I am. Let me get some beers. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Sit on down. <sighs> hey, listen, man. How's Vanessa doing? <sighs> Same. <clears throat> Hey, listen, guys, I'm going over to uh, Rick and Abby's after this. They're having a little dinner party for Michelle, and I'm trying to get this guy to go with me. You guys are more than welcome to come, too. The more the merrier. He's an old man. No, seriously. He's a party pooper there. Thanks, brother. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nothing personal. Nothing personal. No, listen, I don't think that um, we're the guys that Michelle wants to see the night before a trial. So, besides, I feel kind of like a hypocrite. Hey, look, I think everybody in town understands you guys were just doing your jobs, right? Nobody believes that Michelle really killed Ben Warren. Well, speak for yourself, Bill. The way I, the way I see it, the case is pretty cut and dried. Wait a minute, are you telling me that Maybe Michelle's just something? Something? No, I'm, yeah, that's, that's a, a good, good idea. idea. You know what, I'm kind of feeling like the odd man out right now anyway, so no, I'm David, just going to cut. No, listen, I'll catch you guys later, all right? Have another one on me. Excuse me. I, I got it. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Take it easy. Yeah. What's his story? Uh, I bet he doesn't have one. He has no life right now, and uh, he's kind of wound up in this case. He has no life. <laughs> That's funny. Anybody here have a life right now? If so, raise your hand. No, seriously, your dad's done a good job with the place. I was telling Bridget that the other day when I talked to her. Hmm. Thanks, Matt. Must be uh, kind of weird for you, though. Right. You know, seeing somebody else run this place, being that your family owned it for so many years? Yeah, not really. I didn't hang out here as a kid or anything like that. Well, when I was a kid, I couldn't wait to grow up and run the diner. You know, I loved having a family business. Oh, man, the diner was the best. I used to always ask my dad why we couldn't have a restaurant instead of an oil business. I wanted to stay as far away from family business as I could. I wanted to be free. Well, I'll tell you right now. I think sometimes I'd uh, love to go back and flip burgers again and serve moussaka. Being a hot shop cop's not all it's cracked up to be? I don't know why you guys answer that for me. Pretty tough job, huh? Look, the reason I wanted to become a cop was to help people out, you know? Protect them from the bad guys. And what do I end up doing? I end up arresting my friends and letting the bad guys go free. So you'd rather be serving Musaka? <laughs> well, at least I, I'd make people feel happy, good about hey, themselves. Hey, that may be, but I think Eleni and Marina are probably pretty proud of you, right? Who are they, Bill? <laughs> Your wife, Frank. Oh, man, look, I hardly ever see him, and, that, and that's just the point. I, I think my wife was a whole lot happier with me when, you know, before I joined the force. So, I guess I was right. Nobody has a life. <laughs> You spend your time uh, arresting your friends and you don't see your family, and I spend my time in hospital room all day praying that my wife will come out of a coma. And, Bill, you... Uh... Don't even start on me. What? Shut up. Come on, man. You're young. You still have a chance here. Oh, what chance? My first love, Michelle, had, had rather be married to the mob than even look at me. So what do I do? I, I fall for Pilar, who I think is just about to join a convent. So... <laughs> You certainly have a way with women, Bill. Yeah, just laugh it up there, Matt. Well, maybe she's got something going on with her right now. I mean, why don't you, why don't you go help her? No, 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 no. Josh already warned me off about trying to be the hero. <clears throat> I think that's pretty good advice. All this misery starting to make me hungry. Any of musakai on the menu tonight? I don't know about musakai, but we have musakai. <laughs> about musaka? <laughs> I don't know. Let me, let me go Is check it Japanese out. or... <laughs> Uh, I guess we are a pretty pathetic group, huh? It'll get better. You sound like you mean that. I have to mean it if I'm going to get up every morning. What are you going to do about Pilar? No, I'm, I'm serious. I'm through trying to be the hero for Pilar. I would, however, like to do anything I could to help Michelle. You know, I think out of all of us, she's the one who could really use a lucky break right now.